top of the time zone to you. It is none other than Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. It's been a long time since we did this series, and it's fight to the top mode, but it's 2023. However, it is, as of this date, August 10th, 24 of the 20, 2024. It, I, 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 I was going to say the, the 24th year of the 21st century, but... I wasn't smooth. Look, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. We're going to be playing Fight to the Top mode. The main reason why I was having issues with... Uh, I've tried playing this game several times. The issue was that the last couple of times I tried playing it, it was just skipping way too much. And I'm like, yo, this is not an enjoyable experience for anybody. So I had to stop, tried to restart it, try to get figure out what programs or what I need to run, I need to upscale it, fix it, so that way it wasn't skipping so much. But we're going to be at Texas to start off with. If y'all like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm uh, going to be doing some more NASCAR videos, as well as some golf. We've been doing a lot of golf lately. We're doing live streams on Tuesday for the TC Tours for uh, PJ Tour 2K23. Um, so make sure y'all check that out, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Last week, we missed the cut by a terrible margin. I believe we placed almost last in this just starting up, and I was really not okay with that. So we're hoping that uh, this next coming up tournament is a lot better. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and practice as we're in the Craftsman Truck Series in the Bob's Wire Fencing 103 car. It feels a lot smoother than uh, how we uh, were having issues before. So I'll, I keep forgetting that the thumbstick uh, takes out my HUD. I might have to I might have to swap controls for that to not do that. But at the same time, I feel as if back in the early 2000s, there's only certain presets. You can only get presets. You can't... Uh, uh, I forget the word at the moment because I'm racing right now. But what I'm trying to say is there is a capability of... Work. Remap. Yes, you can remap your controls to whatever button you please. But here, I believe it's only the whatever preset... I had that issue with uh, Need for Speed... Which is kind of crazy. I don't know when Need for Speed Underground 2 came out. But whoever who decided, especially for the PlayStation, they made the gas button the X button instead of the R2 trigger button. Like, whoever made that decision, I hope got retroactively... I would retroactively fire that person. Because what... Who does that? Who, like... That's just weird. Like, I would never do something like that unless it's for, like, an arcade game. As in, something almost like Mario Kart. Need for Speed is more of a racer where it's like, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a... Oh, uh, whatever. It's a driving game. Like an actual driving game. It's not like a Mario Kart where it's chill. You're still trying to race and whatever. Right, we're getting a little bit loose here. I actually am too distracted. I actually did not want to... See, the problem with me, uh, with a lot of... Uh, when I was younger, I didn't know any better. And so I'd be sitting here on the practice mode forever. And I'm like, dang, how long is this practice? I was just get bored and start wrecking the cars, turning around backwards and wrecking the cars. 
because I, I didn't know that the actual race, you have to go back into, you have to hit start, hit, uh, quit, and actually start the race. And so I spent lots of time where, you know, you only get like an hour of play on the Xbox or whatever when you're a kid. I, I, I wasted my hour on the practice sessions and what I could have been doing something like this, doing the qualifying, then going ahead and start the race. But I didn't know any better. And so now I'm an adult, I can play whenever I want to as long as I am prepared to make sure that I get up in the morning for work and as long as I'm making, uh, not being a heathen to my roommate. So uh, we complete the first lap here at the stripe. We're placed 15th, not bad. Let's try to dig deep and try to get this last one. We're drifting up way too high. Well, let's see if we can bite down real quick. Exiting turn two, still looking at a top 10 spot right here. I'm going to go up high and drift back down, hopefully. No, we're staying up high. Ooh, just barely misses the wall. Exiting turn four right now, headed towards the tri -oval. We are going to have to deal with that 15th place uh, qualifying start. Eventually, I'm going to work on my commentary voice. That's one thing I'm definitely going to be doing. Uh, so, yeah, we finished 15th in qualifying with a time of 29.89. Not bad. Looking forward to our next race. Texas. If y'all don't know, I have... Uh, I, I, have a, I, I have a beef with Texas. For, for many reasons. I don't know if it's actually... I don't know if I feel comfortable over there. Like, I have a love-hate relationship, actually, with it. Like, I know a lot of cute people over there. Like, great people. Uh, I think Jamie Foxx is from Texas. Uh, a, a couple of people I, are, are from Texas um, that I know either from there or there now. And there's that, and then just a lot of it it's it's complicated how about that but here we are going to be doing our truck race i'm really excited about this we've only had one win one top five and three top tens we hope to put another one on the board the last couple of times we had some races here we struggled a bit because we were Either we had bad pitch strategy or we were just reckless. We just didn't have any good. Well, one thing is for sure. When you take 36 of the top NASCAR drivers. No, screw you. I was sitting here trying to monologue and then you shot a monologue over my monologue. Green flag and we're going. I'm ready to take the lead and stay there. As long as I'm careful with the handling of this car. We're under contract with this team. Uh, we dropped two positions at the start, but we might make it up on this turn. Whoa, too hard. And dropped a few more positions, uh, dropping back already, hitting the wall again. Whoa. Oh, man. That was a terrible first lap. We dropped 12 more positions, and there, we're already on an island. I think one of the main issues that we were having with this truck was the fact that we would just get periodically way too loose throughout the most of the race. And every time we had a chance to win, we would suddenly fade. That was a big hit. Oh, that sounded like it hurt. That was a big caution right there, and that's definitely on me. That 04 car. They did it. Oh, looks like a little bit of uh, contact right there as well. Yikes forever, dog. 
I'm going to go ahead and pit because what's the point? <laughs> honestly feel like it would be the safer thing to do just go ahead and pit get a head start on repairing some damage uh, i'm gonna be at the back of the field anyway so it's not gonna matter as much i'm gonna raise the ps5 the psi gosh drop a pull can extend it out then next time i'm just gonna go ahead and do two right sides because I believe we're going to have some green flag pit stops. I wouldn't be too concerned about if our, our team has any errors due to the fact. We're going to be at the tail end anyway. As long as we don't get a penalty, that's not going to affect us. Uh, looks like uh, K. Parker is mad at me. I'm gonna try to share a draft. I'm really hoping that that early pit stop is gonna help us along the way so that way we can climb up the field and stay there. Question is, how do you go about it? I feel like I should pit with the leaders. Whenever the leaders pit is when I should pit. So that way, when I pit, I don't have to change all four tires. I'm literally just going to gas and go. Because I know none of them pitted. So I'm going to have a can of... can of gas over them. And whoa... Some of the people in the back started to pit, and I was able to catch back up. So here is our green flag pit stops right now as we're less than 10 laps away from the finish. We're going to see some, uh, some of those pit stops within the next three laps. Maybe four. Ah. I'm also going to conserve gas by easing up on the turns. That's going to also help me... Uh, turn better as well i'm not liking how i'm loose at the exit of these turns oh my goodness that really did slow me down with them trying to hang up on my quarter panel right there dang they did not let me merge I believe that's Mark Martin up there in the nine car leading. We're eight seconds back. Actually hit the brakes for the first time. Normally, I'm not a person that likes the brakes. Uh, you can see me drifting a little bit. I don't like that. I am way too high. Lost the position there, only to give it back on the... Oh my goodness, I am turning way too much. Get off the wall, please. With five laps to go... Four laps to go. Do I do I stay out? Oh, trouble! So glad I spun back down to the grass.
there was like a debate online when uh, Jimmy Johnson uh, spun out during qualifying at Dover whether or not he saved the car or not. And I'm like, buddy, he didn't save it because he spun. No, you saved it because you have a car for the next day. Now, this is going to be interesting. We pitted earlier. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Three laps to go. This is going to be... Whoa! That was not good. We just spun immediately. How is this going to affect our legacy? If we cannot make it to the line... We're down. This is probably going to be a green, white, checkered. That's green. Whoa! And that's going to be it. Oh, the 92 spun. That came out of nowhere. So the question is now whether or not we're... I, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, looks like we're going again. And that will do it. Oh, that was a big wreck. I just want the race to be over. They're still having us race. This race should have ended already. This race should have been ended. At least we got a nice little screenshot. Yeah, I'm disappointed in that. Like, straight up. Like, you have to understand... As I, I realize my game might be a little bit up because of... I'm using a different mic. But yeah, that's very frustrating. We could have had second, but no, they was like, uh, let's race some more, huh? Let's race some more. We finished 30th there. And a lot of people are angry because they spun me out. They, they spun me out while I ran out of gas. I think that was someone from my pit crew because that was not like that was me walking up to the guy comforting.
But yeah, that was very frustrating. Um, let's go look at the standings after that race because my goodness. Hurry up, please. Let's look at the standings. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're still 34th. Now, do mind you, we joined late into the season, so if it, it's going to be hard for us to get up into the top 30, given that we're 700 points back. But that's what we got to deal with. Hopefully, we get some better races under our belt. Meanwhile, we have our Wheel and Modified Tour race. And now let's let's be clear here. Uh, before we go to there, we do have two million in the bank. I believe we can have the capability, if we really wanted to, buy the car, right? We could, if if we end up getting fired, right? Sorry for that. If we end up getting fired from our team. We could just buy the team back, upgrade my car, and then go from there. Like, that would be low-key diabolical. And shout out to K. Bush. I don't know if that's Kurt or Kyle, but they won the Dodge Save Mart 350. I think that's at Infineon. I think that's more Kyle Bush. I don't think Kurt Bush ever won a road course. I feel like I should do more, uh, I feel like the next series I might run for NASCAR 06 Nobody goes is... to Hawaii to work, except these guys. We're live at the Mr. Clean Speedway for an exciting NASCAR Wheeler Modified race. These drivers are all looking to make history today, but only one will come out on top. Is there actually a, a, a racetrack in Hawaii? I mean, I'm probably, there probably is go-karts. No, nah, given that um, our homeboy literally, I feel like this is an actual racetrack. Given that there is some commentary on it. I, I think for me, I will say I have struggled at this racetrack before. Not sure how, but this is one of the ones that, oh my goodness, that glare, that glare is going to get me. Alright, we're first. I could really care less about this next one. Gonna go inside, inside. What do you mean inside? There's no cars here. It's just me. At a time of 22.59, we have qualified for the pole in the number 19 car. All right. No cautions. It's just straight racing. I think this is going to be the race where uh, I, I'm actually going to try to stay up front. I want to at least have one win for the video. Oh no, I let somebody on the inside with 10 laps to go. Let me do this crossover back on the inside. Little touch right there. We touch wheels, touch tires. And we keep the lead again. That 115 still right up 
Hi, and here comes another crossover on the inside by the 115. Back in. Just trying to take the lead and keep it. We're just going up too high. That's what happens. We're not turning hard enough. Now we're finally gaining some ground. Three tenths of a second ahead of the 115. Six laps to go. Man, it's all alone right here. I would love to swap with these guys, but I want to make sure that we get ourselves a, a good lead. And I don't know, if, sometimes when I swap cars, these, this guy decides to wreck out of nowhere. And I'm like, why are you wrecking? You're all by yourself as we just put our best lap right now. 22, what was it, 2263? That is crazy. That's almost our pole qualifying time. I mean, look what a difference clean air could do. Five laps to go. Oh, looks like somebody had a accident up here. I see a island of cars. That's not good. Oh, no. All right, looks like we gotta do some work on the other side. Whoa, that was my teammate. That's as much as I can do. So we're about to head on to our final lap. Whoa, I almost hit something right there. One to go. Nobody is home, and we've definitely took a lot of distance off on the leaders. Seven tenths of a second is probably going to be our margin of victory. Well, they're trying to get back, but yeah, we've dominated this race, no point. The Mr. Clean Speedway, we get a win. Welcome back to NASCAR for Freddy. Making perfect donuts right now. That's amazing. All right, yeah, y'all get the point. I was gonna do a donut, but I was like, yeah, I don't have time for this. This is already a 30 minute video. All right, so look at this. All right, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. We're gonna look at the highlight reel. You're gonna look at me dominating. Ka-chow. 
and then we're gonna do it again. You look. Uh, this is when I swap cars, to be fair. And yeah, that's it. Live look at Victory Lane. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So coming up next time, we're going to do the next month of racing. Uh, so we're going to check out some of the events that are going to happen. The phone. The phone is ringing. Hey, what's going on, man? It's Ace. You know, there's a charity race running this week, and you have been invited to run in it. Now, normally I don't set up anything that doesn't give me a little cut of the action, but it's charity. And some of the best drivers in the world are going to be there. So I posted it to your schedule. You decide what you want to do. All right, cool. All right. Ooh. Looks like we got a challenge. What's the challenge? We'll find out next time. As, uh... Oh. Well, I, I guess uh, before we uh, end the video, let's go ahead and sign some autographs. And do this qualifying section, so that way uh, we make it harder for ourselves for the next video. So that's going to be fun. Imagine I don't pick this up till next week, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And how do I uh, get going? So pretty much this is DDDR. Thank you. Thank you. I think I said too many Thank Ds. You, Thanks, awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm going too fast for no reason. There we go. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Perfect. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate Signed 40 autographs. I appreciate this, man. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I was saying it was like uh, this, Dance Dance Revolution or thanks, I guess just a bunch of quick time Thank events you. to react thanks, to brother. sign uh, autographs. Thanks, man. I appreciate this, man. Thanks. So, yeah, I got 500 fans because I'm pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. So, now the big question is, we, we only got one win. I feel like we can get another. I'm just, I'm just frustrated because, one, we got robbed of at least a second place win. Well, I'm, I would say second place win because, yo, you're in the top five. But that race, they kept having cautions despite it being green-white checkered. And that kind of ruined what we had. Had it ended at the first attempt, we would have kept that top five. But no, they were saying, hey, let us race, let us race. And so now we're at Michigan, another racetrack where I have notoriously had issues with when I was younger. And we're about to see why. Like, the, the track on the turns is bumpy, like blatantly bumpy. So where you're driving low, the next thing you know, you, you hop up a little bit. Next thing you know, you're into the wall. All right, so I'm gonna ease up on the gas here, and that's gonna drop me a spot, but at the same time, I should get some of that ground back or not. See how much I drifted up right there? We're gaining some ground. I'm placing 18th right now.
a better start to this until we hit the wall. If we get off the wall, we might have a chance. We're losing speed. We're flirting with that 18th spot. I had to drop down a little bit. I did not, I saw myself going way too high. I don't think, yeah, we're gonna have an 18th place finish. But yeah, that was a very difficult run. So when we come back in our next video, we're gonna have our race in the Craftsman Truck Series. Starting 18th. On the outside, looking at that wall, I am not happy about that at all. But yeah, once again, if y'all like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me y'all favorite racetrack in NASCAR 06. And I appreciate y'all for coming out. Once again, this is Freddie J Sports, and as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time. We'll see you.